Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is the Right Reverend Dr Ian Greenshields, the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. Good afternoon. Can I first of all bring to you the very best wishes of the Church of Scotland and assure Parliament that the length and breadth of this nation, our churches are praying for Parliament on a regular basis. This comes from Luke chapter 10. Which of these do you think was a neighbour to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. And Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Good leadership rooted in service for others is essential for the good of any society. The short passage I read at the beginning is an interaction between Jesus and a Jewish religious leader, where Jesus, in response to the question, who is my neighbor, tells the familiar story that we know as the Good Samaritan. Much has been made of that wonderful responsive story by Jesus, but often we forget that these concluding remarks between Jesus and his contemporary are fundamental. The heart of the story is the one who showed mercy, reflecting the quality of love expected by Jesus. In the ancient Hebrew language, the word for mercy speaks of the unconditional love that a parent has for their child. It is therefore a powerful and primal concept. Indeed, mercy and forgiveness are at the very heart of Christian identity. Within the Christian tradition, we understand that we receive mercy as a gift from God through Jesus Christ. Yet Jesus expects that a gift of such magnificence and grace and magnitude that is so freely given and gladly received by us should be personally expressed in all of our relationships. Love and mercy is not always easy. Love for our neighbor, that person in need, whoever they are, love given in every way that we can, love even for our enemies, as Jesus said, is not a suggestion, but a command. Love your enemies, he said, and pray for them. To show mercy then, and to act out of love, is not primarily a feeling, but an act of the will, even when we are deeply hurt and offended by someone else. It is to give to another what they do not deserve, because we realize that we are the recipients of greater mercy. What then is most important when it comes to the qualities of leadership? Is it charisma, intelligence, real life experience, popularity, vision? Or is it people who can be depended upon 
to show kindness, grace, forgiveness, and a generous heart and unconditional love and mercy in every circumstance. Thank you, moderator.